I know y'all been asking for this for a little while. Let's do a deeper dive on the Creality Falcon 2 Pro. Now with lasers, I've messed with a lot of them over the years and something that constantly stays the same is Creality. I always have one of their lasers somewhere off in my shop. Like I said, no, I don't post a lot of laser stuff as much as I used to. It's because, well, in reality, like I said, I'm really happy with some of the lasers I have. Now, if you look at this, like I said, I've actually done a few changes. You might look be like, hey, Jeff, that's in 4x4 mode compared to how it normally sits. Well, there's a few reasons why we're able to do that. With this, we're able to take that tray out, raise it up to sit there and do some cup engraving. Now, that right there makes this unit even more versatile than before. Like I said, this is, hands down, probably my favorite diode laser. Uh, and it's, it's not the only diode I have in here, but it's the only diode that gets used quite a bit in here. I know you're thinking, Jeff, why is that? Well... The main thing comes down to their laser head. Like I said, I have three settings on here. We got 20 watts, 40 watts, or 60 watts, all with an impress of a button right up there. And if I want to do some fine detail, it's easy for me to change this out into a 1.5 watt diode. Making this machine, like I said, it's a hoss. Like I said, it does everything I need a diode to do. They're like, well, it doesn't have all this new AI. Da, da, da. I was like, I don't need all that. I need something I know that is going to come in the shop, straight work all day long without issues. AI stuff, don't get me wrong, it's nice. But at the end of the day, I'm not sitting there trying to line up 50 million things at once. I'm throwing a full sheet of Lone Star adhesive in there and I'm cutting out a few hundred pounds. Or I'm doing acrylic. Now these acrylic patches, like I said, I get this from Lone Star adhesive as well. But that's what I'm doing. I'm geared towards bulk. Like I said, yeah, the one-off stuff, or if you're wanting to sit there and make little one-off realtor signs or whatever. It's easy to do on this. But in the day, I'm wanting something that's efficient and I don't have to worry about. My main focus with a laser, what makes a laser good is repeatability. I'm able to sit here and crank out several hundred of these patches and not worry about it. I know the first patch is going to look exactly like the last patch. And that's all it is to it. Like I said, yeah, we got cameras in there. So we can sit there and watch it. Yeah, we have a fire warning system if something is to happen. There's a lens sensor in there as well to let us know when it is getting dirty. So we got all the features we could actually... All we really need in reality to sit here and make plenty of money. Then at the same time, if I'm wanting to blast through something, let's say some real thick 10 millimeter of acrylic, I got an air pump. As long as it's solid acrylic, not clear, I'm not going to have any issues. Like I said, this machine is compact enough where you can have multiples of these lined up. Heck, I can fit six of them on this table right now and run production all day long, just going from one laser to the next. And what I'm doing, like this right here, this is a, almost a full waste sheet of acrylic. Roz is cutting out random patches. I was trying to make myself a new hat. I messed up on the art file. That's on me, though. But 
I was sitting here, I was able to cut out a whole bunch of different hats. Once I hit start, I was able to walk away, do whatever I want. I got sensors to let me know I have this vented out normally. It's not vented out right now because it's not in its normal location. But I'm able to vent the smoke out of here. That way I'm not inhaling it. No one's in here able to breathe it. We got good covers on here. I mean, it is all around just a great laser system. Now, I think, know you're thinking, well, why give one test another lasers? Honestly, like I said, I might still play with something here from time to time, but when I'm happy with what I have, it just makes my life so much easier. Like I said, I run a, a normal business outside of YouTube. Like I said, I have text laser works and thread and tones. My embroidery business and cat business, always non-stop year round. So like I said, we're cranking out these leather patches on hats non-stop. And that's something to think about. Like I said, yeah, these are nice to have just to play around, but how can this make money for you? Like I said, I mainly use it to make patches. Like I said, yeah, it does. I've, I'll randomly do other stuff on there, but you just can't beat how nice, durable, strong, easy to use this thing is. Like I said, that's the biggest part. Like I said, we got plenty of room to work with in there. So I can put a decent size item in there and engrave. Now, if we want to go taller, like I said, we got the legs, so we're able to drop it out, put our tumbler in there, or if we want something just big sitting underneath there, we can do that as well. Now, the reality is chuck right here, this chuck rotary, it is awesome. Like I said, this thing, I can sit here and adjust it easily with my hand. Once we get it tight, and then, like I said, when it's in the machine, we got we can sit there and lock and unlock it. So if we need to move it just a little bit, get it exactly where we need to. So if we're doing, if we're trying to engrave all the way around this, the 360 engraving, I'm not the best of that. But this alignment makes it where it's a lot easier for you to line up, especially if you got like a Stanley and you don't want to mess up that Stanley logo. You're able to get this pinned exactly where you need it to. Now, is this the end-all, be-all lasers? No. Like I said, I know Creality's, they're probably already working on their next one. And I know I'll end up with more lasers just to play around with every so often. You're not going to see them near as much on the channel. Like I said, it's just... I, I'm. It's Most of these lasers are getting where... A lot of them are exactly the same. Unboxing, putting together. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with them. But nothing just straight impresses me. Or if it's not holding up to my test on the long haul. Like I said, I've had a few of them that lasers never saw a lot of day. Because um, the IR burn out within five minutes. But that's a whole nother story. That's what it's about today. Like I said, it's hands down my favorite diode laser. Like I said, it's a workhorse. Like I said, I got hundreds of hours on Creality lasers. When I say, I mean hundreds of hours. Because I'm able to get finer detail with this. Like I said, I can put it on a CO2. It's faster, but it's 135 watt CO2. It's not doing the detail I can get with this diode, which makes patches that much better. And I'm able to fine tune this exactly how I need. Say if I'm doing some tricolor acrylic, where I just need to barely burn off the first layer and barely burn off the second layer to get that three color design, this is real easy to program to do that. And I know from one day to the next, 
it's going to be exactly the same where my CO2 can't be a little finicky. One day it grades perfect. Next day in them exact same settings, because it's a higher humidity or something, it doesn't like what it's working on. Get what you pay for. Creality's been in business far longer than most of the companies out there. They the best? No. Definitely not the worst. Well, I can tell. They're reliable and I like to keep them in my shop. Now, if you're wanting to see random stuff that I'm posting, like I said, it's all over the board right now. And like I said, my posting is pretty sporadic. But I do have a lot, a, when I say a lot, a lot of videos lined up right now just waiting to be edited. So if I could get you, hit that subscribe button, like this video, drop a comment down below of whatever it is you want to see me do or attempt. I'm all about, like I said, lots of stuff lined up coming your way real soon, hopefully, as long as I can get stuff to my editor and get everything all edited out. A lot of it's filmed. I just need to get my editor on top of it and where we can start really making stuff happen again. I want to try my best. Not going to promise anything, but what I can promise, you won't be disappointed with the Creality Falcon 2 Pro.